One of the most drastic visual changes that's taken place with the new Universal Aero Kit is, of course, the complete removal of the wheel pods and beam wing from the previous kits. That, of course, has changed the look, it's changed the aerodynamics, but it's also changed the weight balance. That's because that was 35 pounds of pieces removed from the rear, and then there's weight added by having an enhanced side impact structure. So those combinations has moved the weight forward a total of 1.2%. They say, well, who would care about 1.2%? That's actually a big change because engineers tell me that a driver can feel a weight balance change of 0.3%. That means this is actually four steps towards the front. So what does that feel like? Well, more weight on the front makes the car more responsive, especially when you're just quickly bending it into a corner. And that's why there's been rave reviews of the drivers saying, oh, that's just what this car has needed. Now it has about 44% of the weight total on the front. But sometimes you don't want to run that much, so the engineers can still take some of that weight and shift it to the rear. Here's how they do it. There are skids that are underneath the car that run in this area, and they come of different materials. Brass, steel, aluminum, and the lightest being this material called Jabra. You want to move some weight to the rear, put your heaviest skid on the rear, and put your lightest on the front.